So you're welcome to another section of the A2E Library tutorial series. Um, this tutorial is going to focus on uh, submitting your work to the 1018 application or the 1018 platform and also interpreting the color coding, that is um, interpreting the results. This tutorial is actually the part one version on uh, interpretation into um, 1018 results. So with this one, we are going to focus on color coding. That is um, what you see attached to the percentage, the similarity index that you get from 1018. So we'll be moving from submitting and also interpreting. This tutorial is brought to you by Obed. And um, it's, it's a full demo, so um, we will start with some explanation. Then after we move on to the system and uh, to do the illustration or to have just hands-on on whatever we want to understand. Okay, so what we have, that is the color synthetic. So um, actually, um, you are going to see this when you submit your work to 1018. So these are some of the colors. Um, the colors um, is just beside the percentage. That is the similarity index percentage. So these are the colors that actually we are going to see. We have red in there. We have orange in there. Um, we do also have yellow. We have also green. And the last color is uh, blue. So um, when you see colors like this, um, what is the meaning in 1018? Okay, so um, interpretation of 1018 colors, the blue, we are seeing that no matching, no matching text. So it's like um, when 1018 checks your work and your percentage is zero, that is no matching text, you are going to see color blue um, attached to the zero. But if you have any percentage that is, that falls between one and 24%, that is 24% inclusive, one is also inclusive, matching text, you are going to see color green attached to your percentage. When you have 25 to 49%, you are going to see a color yellow. And when you have 50 to 74%, you are going to see a color of what orange. Now, when you have 75% or 70, 75 to 100%, you also have a um, color red attached to the percentage. Now we are saying that uh, the color of the report icon indicates the similarity score of the paper based on the amount of matching or similarity text that was uncovered. Okay, so basically when you see the colors beside your percentage that has been generated, that is the meaning. So this tutorial, we are going to do a demo. We submit a paper and after the submission, um, we'll take you through how you can download your results in the next tutorial, we will try to um, explain further how you can interpret the actual results, not only the percentage that you see. All right. So let's quickly move on to some demo. So we have, you should log into your 1018 application. And um, as you see over here, um, I'm already logging to my editing software as a student. So I'm a student over here and I've been enrolled in a particular uh, program that is um, HND Marketing E, MKTE. So I have to start with a, what, a submission. Now, um, take note of this. Uh, there are certain things that you have to take note when you're about to do submission. Before we start with that, you just have to go ahead and click the class name as it's done over here. Now, when you click the class name, take note of whatever we have here. You are seeing that the class is starting 6 June 2023 and it's going to end 30th November 2023. All right. Now, these are the actions to perform. Um, to submit a paper, you click on submit. Before you click on submit, make sure that um, you are actually submitting your full work. Um, we advise that you don't submit chapter by chapter, actually, um, because um, when you're submitting to 1018, um, you be getting a quick response for the first three attempts. So for example, if I submit a work right now, uh, within some few minutes or seconds, uh, 1018 is going to give me the response. When I submit it for the second time, 1018 is going to give me the response, a quick one. 
when I submit it for the third time to, I'm also going to get a quick response. However, um, after this, uh, three consecutive submissions with the fourth one, um, Tennyson is quite going to delay me for 24 hours before my uh, result is uh, generated. Okay, so let's uh, start with something. So we click on submit. Now, uh, because I'm already joined or because I'm already part to this particular class, there's no need for me to put down my name. The system automatically captures my name over here. And um, you have your submission title. Yes, so submission title. So we just have to um, copy the title that we have on our project work or the thesis that we would like to submit. Okay. All right. So you open your work, actually. So I have a demo folder over here. So I'm going to submit this one. Uh, market segmentation. So I open my file and make sure that you don't just type in it and just go ahead and copy what you have over here. Okay. So you come back, then you just paste it. So you copy what you have over there. Then that is your submission title. Don't be writing anything over here, but make sure that you have your title of your thesis or the project that you are doing over here. Now you go ahead and click choose from this computer. Um, actually, um, I'm using a laptop for this. So the file is on my desktop. If your file is in your Dropbox, you can go ahead and click this. If you want to also choose from Google Drive, that is um, your file do exist. Or um, when you go to Google Drive, you have your file over there. And so you can click on this. Actually, this is the most easiest um, way of picking your file. So you can go ahead and click uh, choose from this computer. All right, so I have a demo folder for demo. Um, that is my file. Now, when you are done, um, you have upload. So in case you realize that this is not the actual file that you wanted to upload, you can just click clear file, that's all. So let me pick my file again. Open, I'm sure that is the file. I click on upload. So you just have to um, exercise patience. Um, so please wait, you'll be asked to confirm to complete the process. So we have it. Okay, so that is what we have. It's still generating. But at this point, so that's what I have over here. At this point, you can go ahead and click Confirm. All right, after clicking Confirm, um, you go ahead and click Return to Assignment List. Sure, so we are back over here and um, you have Processing. Actually, so the similarity report, what you are seeing, the similarity report for this paper is currently being generated. Please check back later to view your similarity report. This means that um, you can log out and uh, come back. That is logging, let's say, after some couple of minutes, let's say, after three minutes, you can do that. Or let's say after five minutes, you can do that. But if you stay on a session like this, um, actually, the result will not come for you to see. So there are two things that you have to follow if you want to see your results. It's either you log out and log in after, let's say two or three minutes, or if you still want to stay over here, just go ahead and keep refreshing. All right, so after refreshing this particular page, I have 64 what percent, and it means that the my similarity index, um, what we have over there is what 64 what percent, sure. So you see this color that we have over here? Okay. And um, that is the interpretation of the word color coding, actually. And you can go ahead, click this. That is a 64%. So 
if it's your first time, this is what you see. Just go ahead and close it. All right, so that's what we have over here. That is um, the similarity report. Now, how do you download your report? Because um, you have to get full access to your report. So click on this particular arrow, that's a download arrow. Then click on current view. So start preparing for download. So yes, I have to exercise patience because um, sometimes it takes it takes some time actually, yeah, some few minutes. So it's preparing, okay. So that's what I have over here, and um, that is your full report. So you can go ahead and open this report, okay. All right. So that's what you have over here, and. Um, You have 64% similarity in the 60% from internet sources, 28% from publications, and 51% um, from 51% from student papers. So we will come back. That is, this is the part one version of um, interpretation of 13 results. And we'll come back so that we are going to we'll come back and take you through this particular session so that then you'll be able to. Um, bring down your percentage, actually, that is uh, 64% to, to some quite, um, it should be down, actually, no, 64% is too high, okay? All right, so thanks again for watching this section of ET Live tutorial series. Um, we encourage that uh, you subscribe to the channel after watching the video, uh, because we have a lot of videos for you, good ones that will help you a lot. Thank you.